Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you so dearly for always tuning in. I really appreciate. Today, the first time you are coming across us, uh, so you are hearing this voice for the first time. We still remain progress news and we give you all the latest updates. Remember, in this platform, we react to all videos and your opinion is highly needed. So sit back, watch this video, and I'll be right back. And as I said before, even those who govern Nigeria do not believe in Nigeria. They cannot die for Nigeria. How much more you? They do not care about you. They are so selfish. They are so wicked. So, therefore, we are not part of them. We know what is good. And we pursue that which is good. And that which is good is nothing but Biafra. We never say it's going to be easy. Whosoever that told you that to get Biafra is going to be easy, it's just going to be easy, lies. And that is the reason many fall aside. Many fall aside because they think it's going to be easy to get Biafra. No. They know they build room in a day. They know they, that you cannot build room. The Roman Empire was not built in a day. To get Biafra, to restore Biafra, we knew from the onset that it's not going to be easy. And those that sent us, our ancestors knew that it's not going to be easy. And so therefore, if you know you are about to, uh, to start the joining that will take you many days on the road, what will you do? You gather and necessary things that you need. You gather necessary things that will sustain you in that journey. Do you see? Yes. And you start the journey. That is it. That is it. So, them having knew that the journey is not going to be easy, they take time. They took their time to prepare us. So, Everything Nigeria is doing is not a surprise to us. Remember, since January, I have been saying that February is going to be hot cake. We knew every of their move. And we knew their strengths. And we knew their weak point. And believe you me, you know how Chukuki Kabiyama used to do? It will allow you to boost. It will allow you to boost. When you both finish, it will allow you to try. When you try your very best. <laughs> when you are when you try your very best, I'm exhausted. That is when he will start his own. To show you what makes him God and what makes you human. That is how our cheat does. He will allow you to put your very best, your very plan, your very good energy. And when you have done <laughs> and got exhausted, he will then prove to you that you are nothing but his creature. So therefore, we will allow you to do your best. Because where your best stop is where we just our own start. Yes. As I told you before, it does not really matter how many you have. It does not really matter the sophisticated weapon you came with. It does not really matter your plan. It does not really matter how you are going to fight this fight. But do you know what really matters to us? At the end, you will be a loser. That is what matter. At the end, you'll be a loser. You will lose. Nigeria will lose. Biafra will come finally. Biafra will be restored. The whole world will see Biafra in the map of the world. All this you are doing, you are wasting your time. I will, which planet Earth are you come? Are you from? You are just an alien. 
No wonder. Our supreme leader call you Judah. Remember, Pharaoh saw all the signs and wonders Chuko Gikabiyama used Moses to show him. But he see, he see not see the his doom. He show him is every signs and wonder that his physician could not perform. All the signs Chuko Kikabiyama shown to Pharaoh. Pharaoh never see believe that this is the work of the Creator. And he was see pushed by his foolishness. They did not owe weapon. They did not have this. They did not have this. Let's go and return them back. Let's go and bring them back. They must be our slave. They must serve us. Who go they do this for us? Where we go they do this? Ah! <laughs> and when that point reached, all of them drowned in the Red Sea. Now you people, foolishness will soon push you to your early grave. All of you. All of you. Where we go they take free oil? Where we go they take free oil? Who we go they use like our slave? Who, where we go get free land? Where we go they use... Are we not the owners of Nigeria? Are we dragging Nigeria with you? As long as I'm concerned. Nigeria is Yoruba land and not Tanant. It has nothing to do with in the Biafra land. Biafra territory must be free from you. It does not really matter who you, you know, borrow equipment from. I think UK have given you the most latest fashion of Amotanga. You have come with it. You have failed you. They have given you a uh, fighter jet. You have come with it. You have failed you. They have given you machinery. You have come with it. You have failed you. They have given you all manners of machine gun. You have come with them. And they have failed you. But our chi never fell. Our chi never fell. Do you know what he told us? We should hold our ground. And he told us two things. Owe your peace. And owe your ground. I will soon destroy them all. This Nigerian terrorist state you have seen today, you will see them no more. And we believe. And that is our hope. And that is our strength. You see why you cannot win us? Because we knew every step you make. We knew every step you make. And we are ready. We are watching you. We know where you will stop. And as I said earlier, where you stop is where we start. Where you stop is where we will start. But bear in mind, you can never win this. Biafra is what we are asking for. Biafra is what we will have. It is our right. It is our right. It is our belonging our possession possession and we must possess it by fire by force and nothing you can do about it this war you started we will end this war for you and the death you come with in the land of the rising sun you will be the one dying i've told you you put your strength six days Five days, if you fail. And let me call it six days, you fail. You say you want to go and retralize, replan, and come on Monday. Today is Sunday. Today is our four. Monday is a war. Every market day is against you. Anyhow you come, anytime you come, you will meet that. Any way you come, anyhow you come, any day you take come, now that they wait for you and you will meet that. Then you will understand that Biafra is bigger than you. And Biafra army is stronger than you. 
I know some of you do not believe in history. I know some of you are not learned. I believe that many of you are blind. You cannot see the handwriting written on the wall. You cannot understand either what is written on the wall. Because if you could have adapt or adopt or ad addicted, if you were to addict it to history, you know that they determine, they determine mind. They had that determine, no, they give up. Any heart that determine to achieve something can never give up. For instance, it's somebody that invented the halogen buff that you were using, known as Michael Fire there. And say he tried for 99 times. For somebody to keep trying. He tried the first time, he failed. He tried the second time, he failed. He keep trying 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, 40 times, 50 times, 60 times. Keep failing, 70 times. Keep failing, 80 times. Keep failing, 90 times. Keep failing. But he have never give up. Why? Because his mind is, it is possible. I must get there. No matter how long it's going to take me. No matter how long it's going to take me. No matter how the resources I'm going to waste. I must get there until he get there. He never give up. That is the heart of hardcore beer France. As I told you, as I always told you, as I will always tell you, and I will keep telling you this, that the lion can never give birth to a goat. We get that heart from our parents. There are fighters, there are lions, they give birth to us. We never give up. We can never give up. We really determine to restore Biafra, and that is what we will get. It does not really mean, it does not really matter what you are doing. <laughs> you are just joking. If you think you can stop us, you are just joking. You can't. You can never stop us. You can never, in your whole imagination, stop us. We are unstoppable. Yes, we are unstoppable. So now you know that no single move you make that we are not aware of. No plan you plan we are not aware of. But also bear this in mind that where you stop is where we will start. You see this Biafra? It must be restored. Do you know why? Biafra is the last hope of humanity. Those of you who go to who go to a church and they are telling you Jesus is coming. That Jesus they are telling you that is coming is Biafra. Prepare to receive Jesus. It is talking about Biafra. The white men that wrote the slave book to you, they knew about it. Instead of them to tell you Biafra is coming, prepare for Biafra, they are now using Jesus to deceive you. There is no Jesus coming. It is Biafra. And that is the reason the, the, the children of darkness are risen up in many forms, in many ways, to fight. Because they knew that this is the only savior to humanity. Yes, this is the only, only, only redemption of the uh, black race. We will never give up. We will never, never give up until Biafra is restored. And that is why I come this morning to water that your hope, the hope of restoration of Biafra, to strengthen you that we knew before we come that it's not going to be easy. There is nothing good come easy. Everything that stands strong depends on the foundation you lay. Everything that stands strong depends on the foundation you lay so therefore we are laying this strong foundation for biafra so that biafra will be unshakable biafra will be unmovable we knew that it's not going to be easy the reason why you see a lot of people falling out of this struggle is because from their onset they were thinking that it's going to be easy and having seen that it's no longer easy they fall aside because their mind was telling them that ah it's going to be easy when we just start protesting, when we start protest, when we carry flag around, when we make noise, when we make noise, the world will hear our voice and the world will come in and separate us. That was their initial mind. And as they carry flag, make noise, make noise, the world did not even talk about them. Nigeria came up with another plan. 
given to them by Britain. Don't allow them to make noise again. Don't allow them to protest again. Start killing them. Start killing them so that the protest will die up. Immediately they start killing and start arresting. A lot of people with rubber. A lot of people. Men, if if, if we were 1,000 then, more than 700 have already re re retreated back. They don't want join again. They don't want Biafra again. Why? Because they were thinking that it's going to be easy. And others will keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Say, so, you no, know, we will not just stop by here, from here. We will keep pushing. And they declare indigenous, indigenous people terrorists. They did not carry knife. They did not carry gun. They did not carry stone. They did not carry wood. They do not bomb any market. They did not kill anybody. But they declare them terrorists. <laughs> Only in the zoo. The moment they declare them terrorists, many people see retreat back. Say, ah, I don't want to be part of the terrorists. So they don't already call us terrorists. So. But those that know their God, they took their ground and stand firm. Because before we came, they told us that it's not going to be easy. But we have two things to do. Hold your stand and hold your peace. Hold your ground and hold your peace. At the end, this Nigeria you see today, you will see them no more. That is what we are doing. We hold the ground of Biafra very strong. And we are holding on our peace. Believing that Chuko Kika Biyama, our Chi and all our ancestors are strongly behind us and before us and beside us and are fighting our enemy hands down. And that is why yesterday I was proudly telling you that we came against you in the name of Chuko Kika Biyama. We came against you in the name of our ancestors. Do you know them? Should I mention them for you? I've already mentioned few of them for you yesterday but there are lean linos there are millions there are millions even me i cannot mention all their names because there are so many if i should start mentioning the names of those we came with against you the day will never be enough one moon will never be enough one year i can never see mention their name because they keep exist and exist and exist till eternity you can never win this war Immediately, immediately, we declare the people that did not kill terrorists. You arrest their leader and start execution. Persecution increase. Immediately, the leader was arrested. So many withdraw. <laughs> but those that were called and prepared for this task, they keep pushing. So we know our destination. Because they knew that all this will come, but they never give up. They knew quite well that a time like this will come. What do you do? You start destroying their houses. You start destroying their houses. Did it stop the struggle? No. What do you do? You went to the house of their leader and killed more than 28 people then call it 28 because that was what they encountered but you keep more than 28 people arrest so many did he stop the struggle no the latest one you went and arrest the leader for the second time you deny him trying trial you deny him freedom did he stop the struggle but let me shock you that all these things you did, or all those things that you did, you end up fueling the struggle. You end up, you always end up topping fuel. It's just like when when fuel want to finish in the vehicle, we should know that when this fuel finish, the vehicle will stop. But what you do is always ending up fueling the vehicle to continue moving. And that is exactly what you keep doing. You are the one fueling our movement. You are the one keep pushing us to the next level. Because this madness could have stopped since. If you could have agreed on a very simple tent. What is a tent? Let's sit down on the round, uh, round table and discuss our existence as man, as human. Now, what was the things to discuss? Uh, Nigeria, this is how you do. Conduct referendum, fix the date, 
peacefully let everybody vote. If the majority that votes yes to Nigeria, if it is majority that votes yes to Nigeria, and then we go with you. We plan how we can make this country good. But if the majority vote yes to Biafra, and then let's live in peace. You become our good neighbor. Yes. A child that leaves his parents and get married does not forget his parents. It doesn't mean that because you marry, you forget your parents. But you do not have that mentality, that human being mentality. It doesn't. But you say, no, he, who are you for me to sit down in the same table, discuss the, the future with you? No, you cannot. I cannot do that. You cannot sit down with me. I'd rather kill you as my slave. You are my slave. Britain hand over you to me. I am your master. You are my property. In this 21st century, your brain, your brain is still, still working like cow brain. Your reasoning is still like cow reasoning. <laughs> In this 21st century. Now you the reason like that. Hey! Now I'm asking you, you bring Python, Python, Python dance one, Python dance two, Python dance three to keep Bia France as it stop the struggle. No, I'm taking you back to reflect your memory very back so that this will help you in future, in your future plan. And all those one you did, in all those one you did, we did not carry weapon, no. mind you. And yet, you, you could not stop us. You bust our house uninvitedly, uninformed, and get us many arrested and dump us in your prison. No trial. No trial. You kill us as will. Did he stop the quest for Biafra? No. We now move down to forest. We now have access to gun and bullet. We now have knowledge to create sophisticated weapon, which we are still constructing. The, the I've told you, I've told you before, that what is coming to you, you don't prepare for it. We are constructing a atomic bomb. Let me inform you now, so that you get you get ready. You have been throwing your own. Our own. <laughs> when we start, the war will hear. And the year that we hear it, it will vibrate. It's a prophecy prophesied long times ago. All the social media that are not talking, they will they will open their mouth by fire by force. They will start talking. Yes. It will be like what is happening in Israel today. When a man start, nobody talk about it. But when Israel began. Every news outlet open their stinging mouth, talk nonsense. That is how it's going to be. It remains very small that we finish and we will test it. Our first test, <laughs> our first test, it will be you like play. Our second test, which is the actual launching, Bo, every, every mouth go open and we will never stop until we reach Sokoto. Uh, the same way you they throw bomb in the land of Biafra is the same way we will be throwing bomb in Lagos. Is the same way we will throw bomb in Abuja. Is the same way we will throw bomb in every part of Nigeria. The same way you are throwing bomb in the land of Biafra. Write it down. Do not say I did not warn you, because this dance of the spirit you start, you must finish it. You must dance it to the end. You think you are the only one that have monopoly of killing. You think that it is only you that know how to kill. Other doesn't know. You think you are the master of killing. We will tell you that that thing you think you know, we also know. And we even know more than you. Now you came to kill us in the name of stopping Biafra. And I'm here to tell you the person that always have determination and have a goal, person that set a goal, Set goal and pursue it. You know the tire until he reach the set goal. And that is why you cannot stop us. Because we were programmed to restore Biafra. And that is exactly what we will restore. You can't stop us. The more you try, the more you fail. I will not stop saying this to you. The 
The harder you try, the harder you fail. We have come to restore Biafra. And Biafra, we will restore. So, my wonderful family, that brings us to the end of this update. Do it to like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and bye bye.